Hey everyone, welcome one more time to Hey Bartender, Gustavo Rojas here, your personal bartender for this quarantine that hopefully is going to be over pretty soon. And uh, well, we'll see, we're going to keep going with these amazing cocktails. All right guys, so today, very excited, okay, we're going to make the introduction of one of the most amazing products that Mexico has produced for the world. And uh, we're talking about mezcal. Uh, this is the case of Origen Raiz. Origen Raiz is from Durango, and this is one of the most amazing mezcals that I came over across with it. All the people in Durango, my kind regards, guys. So here we go. Today we're going to make La Chanita, which is also basically kind of like a really cool mezcal sour. Please stay with me. Let me show you how it's done. <music> Uh, please, if you like the channel, like, subscribe, share it. You know, a lot of people probably they don't know about these uh, very simple and easy to do cocktails. And hey, maybe you are doing him a favor. Okay, so uh, like I said, super proud of uh, producing, uh, making a really cool cocktail with mezcal. And uh, we're going to do the chanita, which is ounce and a half of uh, origen raiz mezcal. This one in particular, it is a maguey ceniso. Okay, so... Uh, you definitely want to have this one because the flavor is very, very, very unique. Also, you're going to add some Contro because uh, it is uh, um, a cocktail is going to go for a quarter of an ounce. We're going to need some fresh lime juice. Let's go for three quarters of an ounce. A little bit different in uh, the sours, but it brings like a, a really good flavor and balance into the actual cocktail. Uh, we're going to go for half an ounce of fresh orange juice. Obviously, we're going to need some agave nectar. Let's go for a quarter of an ounce. And I know, in Hey Bartender, we put a lot of huevos. So vamos a echarle huevos. We're going to put an egg white. And remember, you don't like eggs, not a problem. Use your aquafaba, which is the water inside of the um, uh, garbanzo. And uh, just strain it, use half of an ounce, okay? Let's proceed to do a dry shake. Let's make sure that our egg gets like a really good foam. And now, if you have the chance to have a, a nice sphere or even better, a nice rock, that will help you to do the shake without making um, trapping all the actual fraud in between the ice. A baby ice sphere. That looks absolutely perfect. For your garnish, you can do it two ways, but this is the one that I recommend you guys. Just grab a little bit of a cinnamon. Basically, the mezcal is one of those really cool cocktails that um, the mezcal itself is uh, we using salt or using lime is going to kill your taste buds and you're not going to appreciate the mezcal. The mezcal picture when you're drinking mezcal, you are drinking a scotch. Believe it or not, it is so complex and it has so much uh, time and into it that uh, we will spend like a really long time talking about it. But cinnamon, fruit, and uh, vegetables, kind of like a carrot, uh, uh, cucumbers, uh, little pieces of mint, it will go and blend perfectly fine with the mezcal rather than kill your taste bud with uh, uh, wedges of lime. And uh, cinnamon and orange, they go perfectly well with the flavors and the actual smokiness of the mezcal. And you can actually get some uh, um, little pieces of orange peel and just sprinkle them on top. And here we go, making the introduction of La Chanita, the mezcal sour. Salud. 